previously on Splinter Cell Double Agent. Alright, Victor. My boss and I are doing business with Dr. Aswan. You're going to break into his office and steal his note from me. Agent Fisher, this is Hisham Hamza. I'm with the agency. Here's the deal. Right now, we've got nothing on this terrorist tea party. You get to make a recording of it. I can do that. Well, who did? I don't know. That's why I'm over here. Well, you shouldn't be touching the crane. Oh, it works. It works. Don't try to trick me into lowering the price. But how do we know it works? A silver line. Fisher, heads up! We'll test it in Cozumel first. This is Hisham. You need to go up to the meeting room and sample the substance Aswat is selling. NSA is flipping out about this. We're now their number one priority. That wouldn't be the first time. Gorgeous singing voice. She wears a silky lip gown. Obviously, she asked for my key. I got it, Hisham. What is it? I was hoping you'd know. Fisher, I'm on my way to the roof to talk to you. It's raining, Moss, and I don't have a raincoat your size. Just tell me what you have to say. Emil's orders. Break into the good doctor's room and steal his notes. Now get to it. Oswald's room is 2406. You can access it from the main shaft of the building. Sam, the meeting's over and the doctor is heading your way. He's a liability. We have new orders to take him out. See to it. What if one of the Neil's guys shows up? Fisher, we're gonna blow the windows! Stand clear! I had a feeling you'd be a useful addition from the moment Jamie brought you to us. Good work obtaining those notes. I'm not sure who else I could have trusted to get them. Enrica will no doubt find them very useful for her work which is, of course, at the core of what the JBA is doing. I'm sure she'll have more to say to you about it once we're back in New York. Just be careful, Fisher. I need her happy and productive, at least for now. About time, Sam. You're taking a hell of a chance coming out here now. It was necessary. Your implants fuzzed and this intel can't wait. We found the Rublev and Masood Ibn Yusuf's men are training on it. Now throw in the fact that what you stole in Shanghai was red mercury. Should I just roll a grenade under the conference table? I wish you could. But if you take out Emil, we risk losing Masood and taught fear. And we need to get all of them at once. <laughs> Too bad. You're telling me. Your pal Emil has a nuke starter kit. His buddy Masood will use that tanker to deliver it. And we have to wait until we have all the pieces of the puzzle. He's not my pal. Glad to hear that, because I was starting to feel unloved. I need you to break into his office and get the specs on what he's doing. I'll contact you as soon as I can. That works. I will. I'm not going to leave you out here on your own. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Snot Rag, and I'm back with more Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent. We're at the JBA hideout number two. On hard difficulty, we're going to be doing this 100% stealthy, silky smooth, as always. All we're going to do is just sneak by here. Now, up ahead, we can get Enrica's voice here, but it's very hard to do. There you are. Normally, I don't have to look this hard for a man. So? Forget it. Come on, there are some mines I need you to assemble. Stay to the right to get this and you should be able to get it. Oh, before I forget, Snigoski, you know the pilot, he didn't make it. Silky Sam, that's not where you should be going. Anyways, if you could get his body out of the infirmary and down to the furnace... Grab her voice when she's talking with... 
with I'd the really feel appreciate of the head. It. Piece of cake. If you get a chance, that would be great. Now she's given us other objectives as well. Of course, you like I said, you can complete the training course and the firing range and get rid of the uh, pilot's body for Enrica um, in order to gain more trust if you're a little low on trust. But because really I am going to be assembling the mines, assembly. Assembly. that's going to refill my Emil trust meter all the way back up. Back so uh, there's no point in if me doing any of the secondary it, it objectives. Like saver. I said, it's because if you are low on JBA Thanks. trust, that's when you should do it. need to run. Emil wants to see me in his office, but I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll do my best. I'm sure you'll do great. Now here, as soon as she turns around, that's when we can kind of disappear and hide here in this corner, so that way we can get Emil's voice. Villa Blanca. Just double checking, making sure that I got it. Yeah, I did. And his is kind of like the master key with the voice recognition software that they use to have the doors. <laughs> Look at Sam being a badass. I like it. Yeah. Alright, so here comes a meal. A meal. And then this is when we can office. grab his voice as well. No need. How are the mines coming along? Got it. Fisher's finishing them off now. Let's go ahead and check to see what we got here. Yep, we got his voice. And we should have Enrique's as well. Yep, there we go. We got our voice. All right, perfect. I hope he's got a steady hand. Me too. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Are you sure we need to test the bomb in Cozumel like this? Absolutely. We need to send a message to the yeah. world. Yeah. But we can test so the detonator rusty. without killing all of those people. Pretty a little a lot fun mini game. Just go slow and make sure that your eyes are on the uh, target on the right side of the screen. You don't want to focus on the. Uh, the middle here, which is what I was doing. Yes. You don't want to focus on that. You want to focus Good. on the target. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Eh. It's okay. We got plenty of time. Yeah. Oh, yeesh. This is gonna take a Damn while, it's not. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. to it's the master key so we won't really have to worry about grabbing anybody else's voices uh, to unlock doors but we do need them all in order to complete all the profiles so that is something else that we are going to be do uh, that we're going to be doing uh, we just need to get uh, Dylan's and then we need to get Jamie's Jamie's uh, is can actually be done um, pretty early on instead of waiting to do JBA uh, JBA mission number three it's Moss that we need to wait for because his is pretty tough. Now, we're going to go in here. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it just that way for in the future. We have this code. Walk soft because Enrique is here and she has hearing like a bat. You got to be very, very careful. It's silky smooth. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to turn this computer off. This will give you a little bit of extra cover just in case... Uh, she hears you going through the filing cabinet and then if she does come over here you can hide under the desk and uh, she won't be able to see you but we're just gonna rummage through here real quick so that we can get some more intel on uh, background information we're gonna move slow and then we're just gonna boogie on out of here Next, uh, we're gonna get Dylan's voice, and uh, we're gonna get some more files from them in both him and Jamie's room. I think 
there are two guards up here patrolling if I remember. Um, they can be kind of hit or miss to get by. I'm gonna shut this light off here so that way nobody can see us going in. right here as soon as he goes that way we can turn off this light and here is Jamie in Dylan's room if you get this far and you have 100% you should have the automatic lock hits which I, I think kind of takes away the fun from uh, Splinter Cell and the tension and everything like that alright now here oh down, go to sleep, and talk it to sleep, so that way we can get his voice. Okay. There, this is weird. Let's try this again. No. Mommy. Not the hairbrush. Got it. Not All again. Alright, right, well, since he's very, uh, jumpy and jittery, uh, let's, uh, let's hurry up here with the files. If you do all this now, you won't have to worry about coming back here in later missions, which will make your life a lot easier. Okay. Getting out of here can be a little tricky because we still got those two guards to worry about that we left alone outside. Not like we could knock them out or anything, but still. That This is what I like uh, about this version in particular because in uh, version 2, this is considered version 1. In version 2 on the original Xbox, you could knock people out and everything like that when you were sneaking around in the JBA hideout. You had a mask and a, a voice modifier, which I thought was pretty neat. But it's just like, okay, well, you know, somebody's been sneaking around knocking out our people we're gonna go line these people up one at a time and you know shit doesn't add up we're gonna start executing people so i like what they did here where you can't knock people out it makes sneaking around a lot more difficult but i guess it makes it a little more realistic we're gonna open the door stealth he's, yep he's on the couch okay hold on so we're gonna wait for him to get back up and start walking and then we're gonna go. I just wanna say thank you guys so, so much for sticking around, watching all the videos. Uh, hopefully you guys like that little uh, Splinter Cell Conviction trailer that I made. I was bored, wanted to test myself with uh, my editing abilities, and I gave birth to, I think, one of my greatest creations, in my opinion. Alright, we're good. So why don't you guys do me a favor and share that video as well, and uh, let let Ubisoft know, hey, uh, 
If you need a marketing editor, I'm the guy. <laughs> Alright, as soon as we're in here, there's gonna be a file. And I think this is Enrique's room, yeah. We're gonna grab that, and then we are gonna make our way over to Emil's um, master bedroom area. I guess his office, I, yeah, Emil's office. Let's just double check everything, yeah. So we got their medical record of Emil and his voice so far. Moss, we don't have a lot on other than his medical record. Uh, we have Enrique's medical record, her voice, personal info. Jamie, we have his medical record and personal info. Dayton, okay, Dayton is his name. Okay, we don't have anything on Hisham. We really shouldn't have anything on Oswald since we killed him, but okay. Alright, let's take a look at the objectives. Alright, yep, yeah, three of four. Alright, well, there's still some more stuff that we're going to need to get. So, what we're going to do as soon as we uh, go through here and out the window, we're going to head toward Emil's bedroom first. We're not going to go to the safe, because if you go to the safe, this is going to make it a lot more difficult for you guys to do. So, we're going to go to his bedroom first and obtain his files. And if we do that, we won't have to worry about him later when he goes in there. So this will make our lives a lot easier. So if you dart to the safe immediately, it'll start the checkpoint, and then he's going to go in there, and you're going to need to wait for him to fall asleep, and that will take some time. So right now, we're just going to come in here. Stay to the left, so that way you don't go toward the safe and activate the checkpoint. Okay, yeah, nope, that's, that's the bathroom. Sorry about that, guys. All right, we're going to go in here. This is his bedroom. Alright, and there's a filing cabinet in here. Oh, that's a dresser. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we got that. And there's going to be another filing cabinet in uh, the living room where we have to go to and access the safe. But we're not going to do that quite yet because this is also where we're going to get Jamie's voice as well. It's better to get his voice now and do this than later. Now we're gonna mosey on over to the safe. You're the boss. Get over here into this corner. And make sure you got your laser mic. I still think you're worrying too much. When you've got red mercury do exactly outside, as I do here and keep an eye on your meter you're so that way you know you're in the dark and they so will not be able schematics? to see what you're about to do. Let me fetch the blueprints from the safe. Wait here. There's a glitch in one of the hiding spots, but I'll show you. So as soon as he's going back there, we're in the dark, we're fine. Stay right here. All right, let me take another look. Gotcha. Oh, so very silly. Oh, snot wreck. <laughs> You're right. Let me get back to the lab and we'll get this thing made. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a weird kid. What do you want from me? Alright, now, what Emil's gonna do, he's gonna do something weird. So, as soon as he steps away from the safe, you think you're fine. Not true. We're gonna stay here. He does a weird thing here, where he is going to go sit down, and then he's gonna stay there and sit in that chair for, like, I guess maybe a, a second, or a couple of minutes. And then, he's gonna get back up, and then make his way center stage toward the chandelier in the middle of the room and then go back to the chair because by the time you get over there as soon as he goes there the first time and unlock the safe he'll get back up he'll spot you this game over see it we would have unlocked the safe by now he would have gotten up and he would have spotted us 
So he's gonna go back and sit back down again. This is gonna give us the time to get over there and unlock the safe now. But here's what's gonna happen after we're done with this. Once we get the safe open, we're gonna go to the computer because there's some more information that we need. Now this is the hiding spot that I'm telling you about. Watch what happens. We can't stay under here for too long. Because look, you see Sam? Look at him, look at him, look at him. He he, he's starting to morph into the desk and then make matters worse. Watch what happens with the, look at that, you see? You see the meter is yellow? So he can see us. We're literally morphing into the desk. So that's why we can't stay there for too long. But when we're done goofing around, all we're gonna need to do here is um, unlock the safe. Now, when you get the safe open and then you go to the computer, here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna get back up from the chair. That's when you're gonna need to go back under the desk but I guess you can't stay under there for too long, otherwise you'll start to morph out of the desk and then he can see you because you're not in the desk anymore and the light meter is yellow, he'll be able to see you. So very, very <laughs> weird and interesting glitch. All right, so now that we got this open, because we're gonna need to hack the computer open. And hopefully, uh, if you guys go as far as I have, you'll have the uh, software where it'll hack it automatically for you. Okay, let's go over to the computer. Nope, he's getting up. You see that? Yep. Okay, now we gotta go under the desk. Okay, good. Alright, yeah, he's going to the bathroom. See, look at that. That is so strange. Out of all the glitches. Yeah, out of all the glitches that could mess you up, that is definitely one of them. Okay, see, now we got 15 seconds to hack stuff open. Alright. Oh, look at that. So we got a key code. is 1337. I think he went into the bathroom. I don't think that he went into the bedroom. The bedroom is where he's gonna stay, but the bathroom he will come out of. So let's just wait one second. Yeah, screw it, let's just go. Did it so now we can just boogie on out of here we are good to go let's take a look at everything here all right yeah we got his personal info and his activities we need his fingerprints and his retina boss we still need to get some more stuff we got more of Enrica we need to get Jamie's activities we don't know what those are yet all right we're good Silky, silky smooth. That is just the way I like it. We're just gonna make our way back. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have quite the surprise here. Sam! Wow, oh, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? I do my best. You're not cleared to be up here. I'm gonna have to report this, Sam. Mixing business and pleasure can get tricky. You're telling me. I'll tell you what, next time, bring flowers. This time, I'll let you slide. Ooh la la. Do 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 all right, well, we did that. So yeah, it'll say that we disposed of the corpse. We failed that, failed at the fire range. 
we shouldn't let that really scare us. Let's see if we unlocked any new gadgets. Uh, no, we did not. Okay. But look at that. 100% stealth. Not too terrible of timing either. So, we got zeros across the board for the most part. We had to hack and we had to pick locks. But yeah, that's how you guys do that. JBA hideout number three. 100% stealth on Splinter Cell Double Agent. Hard difficulty. If you guys like what you saw, please... Do like, comment, and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it to keep this channel flowing. And I'll see you guys on the next one. But as always, stay frosty.